In the year 2010, two scientists from the United Kingdom won a Nobel Prize for using a technique so simple that you could do it in your home or office. Want to see how they did it? Keep watching. When we look at the periodic table, we see 118 different types of atoms, and we might think that if we could understand the behaviors of all these substances, that we'll understand all the materials in the universe, but it's a little more complex than that. For instance, let's take a look at carbon, the most fundamental element for life. If carbon atoms are locked into a three-dimensional crystal-like structure, they form what we call a diamond, one of the world's toughest materials. But what if you arrange carbon atoms in flat rows stacked on top of each other? Then you make slippery graphite with layers that will easily slide off onto paper and leave marks. Diamonds and graphite could not seem more different, but they are both just made of carbon atoms arranged in different ways with their electrons interacting differently. But what if you could remove layers of graphite one by one? This is what those two Nobel Prize winning scientists did. They press tape to pure graphite and then used the tape to remove layer by layer until the sample was only one layer thick. When that single layer remained, they transferred it to a silicon compound and they noticed that the electrons started to behave differently at the quantum level and the material started to demonstrate unusual properties. This new material was called graphene, and it's super strong, yet lightweight, elastic, flexible, transparent, and it even conducts both heat and electricity. This material is so novel that scientists are still trying to determine all the ways it may revolutionize our lives. Possible applications include everything from flexible computer screens, high-speed computing components, lightweight airplane parts, cables for space elevators, and even refusing severed spinal cords. You may be able to create a few flakes of graphene at home using a soft pencil lead and tape, but researchers at Oak Ridge National Laboratory are trying to find ways to mass produce it. One method is called chemical vapor deposition. It moves methane gas, which is a hydrocarbon, across copper metal to produce large graphene sheets. A rearrangement of atoms can produce a material with brand new properties and make new scientific advancements possible. It's like getting a brand new periodic table of elements with which to work. In short, the ability to make new material matters.